All right, I'll assume that means the recording is going. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to my session, what it's a BIDBA. Uh, quick overview of me. My name is Jorge Seguera. I'm a senior DBA consultant for Pragmatic Works. Uh, I'm also known online as SQL Chicken. Uh, you can find me on Twitter as SQL Chicken. You can find my blog, SQLChicken.com. Um, I've also written on a couple books. And I found a little program on my blog called SQL University that helps you learn SQL from the ground up. All right. Um, I am, somebody says, having a hard time hearing me. Uh, Melissa, can you hear me okay, or is that person's volume just kind of low? I can actually hear you, but you do sound like you are away from the mic. All right. Well, I'm going to pull the laptop a little closer because, unfortunately, I'm using the laptop mic here. That's much better. All right, I'll try to speak up a little bit um, for the rest of the session. All right, so welcome. What is a BIDBA? That is the question of the day. So what is it? Um, well, one, you're not going to find the title BIDBA, or, or typically you're not going to find the title DB, BIDBA on any job postings. Why? Because you're just a regular DBA, right? And a lot of us find that find ourselves in that position. You're a regular SQL Server DBA and all of a sudden um, the BI stack starts showing up in your shop. Uh, somebody starts developing reports or integration services packages or analysis services queues. What is this stuff? Well, it's stuff that, you know, it's part of the SQL Server uh, suite, um, but it still needs to be administered and that falls typically on the SQL Server DBA. So the base skills still apply. Everything that you do today as a SQL Server DBA still applies. You're going to need to configure the solution. You need to know how to back up and recover said solutions, how to lock it down, so learn the security aspects of it, um, performance tune in. You know, if, if something's running slow, you need to know how to address that, and troubleshooting. All right. So everything, again, that we do on the database engine, we're, we need to know this stuff for the BI side. So again, the expectations of you are that you know how to configure and deploy these solutions. So if somebody creates an SSIS package, the expectation is that you as the DBA should know how to deploy this to the server or set up the environment for, for deploying um, and troubleshooting and monitoring these solutions. And that's the stuff that we're going to cover today in this session. And I warn you, uh, this session is a little bit rapid fire. But you are able to shoot me questions if you have any, um, and I'll be more than happy to answer them after the fact. Um, I saw that a lot of people here are uh, beginners, so I'll try to take it slow and explain where I can. So when we talk about the business intelligence stack in SQL Server, we're talking about three main components. So integration services, which is known as SSIS, analysis services, SSAS, and reporting services, SSRS. So again, in today's talk, I'm going to talk about these three. I'm going to talk about how to configure, deploy these things, uh, some security stuff, and uh, some maintenance. Again, we can't get into too deep because we only have an hour today, and there's a lot of stuff to cover. Um, what I did not list here is SharePoint. Now, the reason for that is when, when Microsoft talks about business intelligence, usually the uh, SharePoint comes into the picture because that's Microsoft's kind of enterprise platform they want you to deliver the BI through. Again, we've already got enough to talk about today. SharePoint's its own beast. So um, we've actually got a webcast already in our archives by Bradley Shack, SharePoint for the DBA webcast. Um, I highly recommend you check that out after this. Again, all our um, PW free training is available free to watch in our archives. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the tools. What, what tools are you as the administrator going to need to use and know about when we're administering the BI stack? All right, so first one we're going to talk about is BIDS, or Business Intelligence Developer Studio. Now, um, all these tools are basically Visual Studio shells with BI components in them. All right. Now, BIDS was first introduced with SQL Server 2005, and we've had a version of BIDS with every major release up to 2008R2, meaning we have a BIDS 2005, BIDS 2008, and BIDS 2008R2. Now, the reason that I make that distinction is because when you develop a solution in one of these, it's version specific, meaning if I've developed an SSIS package in BIDS 2005, 
and I deploy this package to a 2005 server, if another DBA comes along and decides to try to troubleshoot that package and brings it down and on their workstation they, have two, they only have bids 2008R2, what's going to happen is when you try to open the package in bids 2008R2, bids is going to say this is an old version, do you want to upgrade it? And it's going to try to upgrade that package to 2008R2. If the administrator clicks yes, the metadata in that package gets updated to 2008R2. Now, they're able to look at the package and see what's going on, but the problem is now that that package's metadata has been updated to 2008R2, you can't deploy it back to a 2005 server. So what happens is you're going to have to have different versions of bids installed on your workstation if you're administering uh, different versions in your environment. So if currently you guys have SQL Server 2005 servers and 2008 R2 servers and running SSIS on both, you need to have both versions of bids installed on your workstation. All right. So next is SQL Server Data Tools. Now SQL Server Data Tools was first introduced with SQL Server 2012. Again, at the Visual Studio Shell with BI components inside. Um, with 2012, bids is no more. Data Tools took over. So this is the new new stuff. All right. Uh, same kind of deal. It's a development environment. Um, it's version specific. Um, there are SQL Server data tools for both Visual Studio 2010 and Visual Studio 2013. Um, functionally, they're both the same, but they just use different shells. Um, hopefully, in the future, they're going to make it so data tools is version agnostic. But as of right now, just kind of keep to it. Now, with bids, it was a little bit easier because you know bids 2005 goes with SQL Server 2005. SQL Server Data Tools has 2010 and 2013, which doesn't have an accompanying uh, version with, with SQL Server. Well, with Data Tools right now, it's SQL Server 2012 um, and the next version of uh, SQL Server 2014, which should be coming out soon, will also have a version of Data Tools that is specific for it. Finally, for us DBAs, we have SQL Server Management Studio, which is typically where we live, breathe, live and breathe. We've had a version of Management Studio since 2005, so we've got one 2005, 2008, 2008 R2, 2012. All right. Now, again, much like the bids um, tools before, um, you're going to need to do version-specific stuff here. 